The climbing season in Pakistan has got underway. In the first casualty reported as of a Polish mountaineer, Fawal Tomasz Kofek, who died after summiting Nanga Forward, one of the world's deadliest mountains with a reported 1 in 5 fatality rate. Tomasz Kofek was part of a seven members Polish expedition team. Their ascent began around 11.30 p.m. on the 1st of July from Kim 3, which was located at 6,800 meters above sea level. On the 2nd of July 2023, Tomasz Kofek reached the summit of Nanga Forward at around 2.30 p.m. On the same day, two other falls, Fyot Krawiowski and Waldemar Kowalewski also got to the summit. All climb independently and without supplementary oxygen. They all reached the summit at different times quite late in the afternoon. High winds and rain were reported at the summit. Reaching the top is only half of the battle. Many accidents happen on the way back to the base game. The first stage of the descent from the summit was reaching the camp located at an altitude of 6,800 meters. Tomasz made it back to Camp 3 at nearly midnight. He and Waldemar Kowalewski descended from the summit together. Still at an altitude of about 7,300 meters, Tomasz began to feel more and more tired and dehydrated. He began to lose strength rapidly. Fatigue and dehydration had greatly weakened him. He suffered breathing problems while descending the mountain in harsh weather conditions. He was severely exhausted and eventually died of cardiac arrest in the morning near Camp 4 at an altitude of about 7,000 meters. His body remains high on the mountain. It's not possible to lift the body from the higher camps. The helicopters cannot fake up from there. It now depends on his family and friends who may decide to send a private expedition to retrieve his body. Waldemar Kowalewski accompanied him on the way down from the summit. He made it back to base camp safely. Tomasz Kofek, 38, had extensive Himalayan mountaineering experience. Nanga Forbat was his second 8,000-meter mountain. In 2018, he participated in a failed expedition to Manaslo, but a year later climbing this mountain was a success. In 2021, he also took part in the Lorsay expedition. He reached Camp 4 at an altitude of about 8,000 meters without the use of bottle oxygen. Tomasz Kopek lived in Kelsa. He was also a Cape Mountaineer. Besides Himalayas, he also climbed in the Tatras, the Alps, and the Caucasus. This is not the first death of a fall on Nanga Forward. Kofek shared the fears of youth camels and Tomasz Maskiewicz, who died on the mountain in 1985 and 2018, respectively. Jerzy Kukoczka, Zygmunt Andrzej Heinrich, and Swomir Lawuzinski were the first falls to reach the summit of Nanga Forward on the 13th of July 1985. They climbed via a new route along the southeastern pillar of the Rofal flank. During that historic expedition, Fiot Kemis was killed in an avalanche. Two days later, on the 15th of July 1985, Wanda Rutkiewicz, Anna Czerwinska, and Kristina Faulaska of the first female expedition reached the top of Nanga Farvat. Dobroslava Mirovich Wolf reached an altitude of almost 8,000 meters above sea level. In the following years, Nanga Farvat was climbed by Fiud Pastelnik in 1992, Shishta Fileski in 1996, Kenga Baronowska in 2007, and Artur Haiza in 2010. Thank you all so much for watching.